Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tiers selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video. Am I, maybe she means I am scared to turn my intuition on full power. Is that why I can't hear my spirit guides? Yes. Especially if you, if you were meant to say I am, if it's written that way. If you're yes. stating that you are scared to, then yes. Yes. So this is what we hear a lot. And we hear this a lot at the beginning of, for example, our intuitive intensive. We've got a lot of people in there who are super curious about psychic abilities. They're wondering if they can turn them on, but they've got some fear. And here's, here's what the universe usually requires that we do when it comes to big magic and big purpose. <laughs> The universe or spirit usually requires us to face our fears and to look at it, to see the possibility of all that could happen and then do it anyway. Mm. And so people say, I really want to be a medium, but I'm scared to see dead people. <laughs> right? And I'm always like, well, those two things don't make sense because if you are a medium, it's likely that you're going to see dead people. Now, what you have to understand and what can eradicate the fear entirely is aligning with your sovereignty. We call this dominion. Dominion. Now, dominion is the energy. It's the vibration of occupying your powerful I am. You're walking around the planet, not in fear. You're walking around the planet in power. Because let me ask you a question. Say you have somebody who wants to rob somebody. He's hiding in an alleyway and a couple of people are walking down the street. The first person walking down the street is walking with their head high, Maybe they've got a bat, but they're defended and they look strong. The second person walking down the street is sort of slumped over. It's kind of late. I'm feeling kind of freaked out and they're scared. Which of those two people do you think the perpetrator is going to pick? They're going to pick the fearful one because that person is weaker. And so what we have to do if we want to work with our intuitive abilities or our psychic abilities or our mediumship is we got to get out of fear because truly there is nothing to fear. Why? Perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect love, Trisha Carr, that's God. Mm. And that's God in us. Emmanuel, God mm. with us. God is with Emmanuel. us. There is nothing. Exactly. There is nothing to fear. And, and when you feel that, when you walk around the planet with that, believe me when I tell you, spirits know it, okay? I used mm. to be in a position when I was just getting back into my gifts after I spent a long time in fundamentalist Christianity. I was afraid because I thought I was straying and maybe what I was encountering was demonic and it had been drummed into my awareness that this is all satanic. And so I was dealing with a lot of fear, but I was also trying to open up at the same time to return to that intuitive child that I used to be. Well, because I was afraid, I had many fearful encounters and it all, almost turned me off to proceeding any further. It wasn't until I got really mad one night when I was attacked, and this is probably when I was about 26, I'm 50, and I was attacked in the middle of the night by what I would say is somewhat of an incubus, succubus type of a demonic entity. And I won't go into the whole thing, but I was, it was pushing down on me. I wasn't able to breathe. I was struck with a panic and a terror. And then I just got mad. <laughs> There's, at some point, I'm just like, who the f do you think you are? And I started getting in my sovereignty about it. No, this is my bed. This is my house. I don't care if I can't see you or don't know what you are. You have to get off of me. And when I started to run the energy of that, my own sovereignty and power, everything began to dissipate. And that was my first demonstration to myself. Oh, there's something in that. Not necessarily to get mad or to use profanity, but when I exerted my own power innate within me, that spirit took notice. Again, believe me when I say, when you're walking around the planet, vibrating in your power, all the spirits fall into line. I'm very rarely disturbed by an errant spirit. If I deal with spirits, I'm dealing with high vibrational energies, interdimensional kind of energies, Metatron, 
I don't deal with earthbound spirits very often. Sometimes one will ramble into my space, God bless them, and I'll do what I can. But for the most part, they don't even try it because they can feel my energetic signature. So if you're in fear, you've got to get out of fear and get into your power. Amen. And, you know, just to, to the thing is, we feel like as we're, when we're awakening, we think that somehow spirit is so much more remarkable, but actually the 3D, the physical experience is harder. So I was terrified physically because Crystal and I both, we came up in abusive family situations. So were you terrified in your teens and twenties? Just mm -hmm. physically, just like being a human, because we were mm -hmm. violated upon physically for, mm -hmm. as our, in our childhood. And so I got that into alignment to where I didn't actually, that is harder to do. And mm -hmm. when I was opening up to my uh, spirituality and, and my intuitive abilities, and I was already open to it, my husband, but my husband was kind of catching up because it was new in our relationship for this to be happening for me. And he said, he, he, one day he was like, you know what, I just, he got scared and he's like, what if you're out there in the spirit realm or whatever, and suddenly you turn down a dark alley? Like, you know, he was scared for me. And I said, and spirit came right through me and my, I said, honey, I leave this house every day. You don't worry about me turning down a dark alley in the physical world. And if I did that, I got to use my legs to get out of there. And they're not as strong as my my connection to love, my connection to love, the way the crystal called in dominion, she loved herself perfectly. That's even though it came across as being mm -hmm. angry, started mm -hmm. from loving yourself and owning mm -hmm. it and, and valuing yourself. That was the perfect love that you aligned to. So if I know how to stay out of dark alleyways, it's much harder to do in the physical world and use my physical body to do it. Then that's, that's the hard part. The easy part is remembering what love feels like done. I'm in heaven mm -hmm. all of a sudden again, there's no, mm -hmm. there's absolutely nothing. And I've been in meditation where, a um not a, a not i guess a basically malevolent uh couple of ets were trying to step to me and my my guides were right there with me and as i recognized they were they were kind of more just uh, selfish i would say not not really they wanted to do me harm and as i recognized them i just dismissed them and i would turn to my guides and i was like why did that happen and they kind of said because you wanted to experience it i didn't even get scared they were like mm -hmm. you wanted to experience how powerful you are and you can do it while you're standing right here with your guides. And, mm -hmm. and then my guides told me that you, you are not easily tricked. You so perfectly, you know that you are love. And when a spirit of, say, malevolence were to try to step to you, it's basically like a child, a three-year-old child wearing a Halloween mask. It is yes, that right. obvious. It's that threatening. And it's that <laughs> obvious to those right. who are aligned with love. And so that's really it. It's that simple. Yeah, and you just have to believe that about yourself. You just have to believe that about yourself. And if you're not there yet, if you're not in fearlessness, which you are completely entitled to be fearless, if you're not there yet, it's okay to admit that to yourself. And at the same time, I would recommend that you probably not try to work on opening your faculties at the same yeah. time as you're being fearful because you attract what you are. And if you're in a fearful state, if you're in a state of anxiety, you're going to attract energies and even potentially entities that are a match for that. So work on the fearlessness first. The fearlessness comes through understanding exactly who it is that you are and why you have that power. So be the person walking down the street with the bat don't be the person hunched over, scared, because that's not who you're supposed to be. Join Trisha Carr and I for the 2019 Intuitive Intensive starting the week of March 18th, 2019. This 12-week program is designed to activate and blast open your psychic abilities so that you can intuitively read yourself and others. Spaces are limited, so check it out at the link below and register today.